Hello everyone, welcome to Production Music Live, this is João. In this video we're going to explore Volume 3 of my MIDI and preset pack for Diva, listen to some of the sounds, and I'm going to use the pack to create this melodic techno track idea. So let's get right into it. We are starting off with a nearly blank project at 126 BPM. We have drum rack with my favorite Deep Premium Volume 6 sample pack kick drums. And this one is the one we are going to use for now, but um, we, we have some others loaded so that as the track goes along, we can audition some of these other samples and see if we can find one that fits better on the track. Let's just listen to how it sounds. There's a Nick Hue taking some of the boxy mid-range frequencies out and a little bit of the high mid. So let's listen to how it sounds with and without the EQ. It's making quite a difference, as you can hear. So the kick drum is tuned or transposed down three semitones. And every time that you transpose down a sample without time stretch, the sample gets longer. So we are making the kick a little bit shorter and giving it a little bit of fade out in order to compensate this tuning down that makes the, the sample longer. Okay, sounds good. So we are going to explore this 100 MIDI files and 100 presets and use them to try to create a track idea that fits our style. So let's start by adding an instance of Diva. Let's navigate to our pack. And here you can see the 100 presets and the names correspond to with the 100 MIDI files that we have on the same folder. So each preset has its corresponding MIDI file and we are going to use these combinations to, to try to come up with something cool. So let's listen to some of the, the bass presets that we are going for now. We are going to try to find a cool bass line. I like this bass link. So we have the preset loaded. Let's just find the, the corresponding MIDI file. Here it is, it's already selected. Let's drag it in our project. Let's look at the MIDI and let's hit play to listen to how it sounds. Okay, our kick drum is hitting at about minus five. I like to have the bass at least two dB lower than the kick drum. Okay, cool. Let's look at what's happening here. The, the MIDI already has some velocity going on. So let's play with the velocity and see where, where it's connected to. Okay, so this velocity is a control, being controlled or controlling the, the amount of envelope, filter envelope that's going to be applied to the filter. Yeah, we can see it here. And uh, more velocity means more filter envelope. So if we add a lot of velocity here, it's completely different than this. Most of the presets have already some kind of built-in modulation that you can use to your advantage while writing MIDI. This is the case, so right now we are going to drop down this velocity in order to give it that extra groove. So let's also add an EQ and some sidechain compression. Maybe first the sidechain compression. Now EQ with a low cut filter.
Okay. Every time that I add a plugin, you're going to see me check the bypass and listen to with and without that plugin, that processing. I always do this to check if what we are doing is, is beneficial or if what we are doing is ruining the sound. This is an advice that I always give to everybody. Every time you add a plugin, make sure that you are doing something useful and not just adding plugins for the sake of it. Okay, so let's check out the presets. Definitely has some built-in effects. We could listen to a little bit of delay and maybe this very subtle reverb is not needed. Maybe a little more high pass on the delay. Okay, we have kick and bass done. So let's try to find something else that, uh, that we like. And for that, we are going to use another instance of Diva. And let's try and find a pluck this time. Okay, this boxer one I think uh, has potential, so let's look for the corresponding MIDI file. Our bass is in A. I mean, the, the sound definitely complements the bass, but maybe the, the rhythm is not so, so much what we are looking for. So let's keep this, the sound, the preset, but let's go find another MIDI file that might fit better on this groove that we are trying to reach. Let's try this vectorized plug. I'm going to copy the sidechain compression from the previous track. Also the EQ. And of course, these MIDI files are always just like a guideline, just something for you to, to start. And uh, since it's MIDI, you can always change the root note. You can change whatever you want. You can add new notes. You can change pre-existing notes. You can do different rhythms, invert it, uh, do whatever you want. So let's try to spice things up a little bit on this rhythm. This filter is also being controlled by velocity.
Okay, I like this. Let's keep going and let's add another track. Instead of adding divas every time, I'm just going to start duplicating the track, selecting everything that's on it, bypassing the, maybe just the EQ because the, the compression, the sidechain compression is probably going to get, it will be useful. And right now let's listen to maybe some ambient sound or some, some stabby bass or something like that. Let's go check out the presets. Let's go for the stabs. I like this one, bassy stab. So let's add, a, let's go find the MIDI file corresponding to this Urukai. Just a simple MIDI note. So let's put it in key. Maybe an octave up. It's starting to sound like something. So let's keep doing what we've been doing. Let's add another MIDI track. And this time let's go for a lead sound and let's listen to some of the leads that we already have here. Angular one has a uh, potential. So let's find the corresponding MIDI file and see what we can do with it. It's already in key, so let's listen to what it sounds like. Okay, let's maybe mute these lower notes for now. Yeah, this is nice, but not for now. So just let's keep it in mute and maybe later we can unmute it. Right now, we're just going to use this little rhythm thing. Okay, cool. Let's keep going. Let's add another track. And in this volume three, in this, in this new pack, I created a new category, preset category. It's the DNK, which means donk. 
So let's go for one of those. We can write down this rhythm I was playing on the MIDI keyboard, or we can just go search for the the corresponding MIDI file and see what it sounds like. It's Donk Byte, so it's this one. Put it in key first. Okay. Maybe check out some of the other MIDI files to see if we have a better one, more soothing. Well, this is something you can definitely do, combine different MIDI files with different presets, as long as you make the necessary changes to make everything fit. So now we have a nice MIDI file. Let's listen to some of the other donk sounds. sounds. Cool, let's definitely keep this one and uh, keep going. Let's duplicate the track again, select everything on the track, and this time let's go listen to some of the arpeggios in this pack. Just leave the low cut on because we're definitely not going to need low frequencies in this. Lots of great options, but we need something really simple. Let's keep this one 
and just write the note we want. do for now it's not something that we need to compromise with right now but there's a lot of different options so let's just keep going and add another track give it some different colors so we don't get confused on what's what okay i'm not sure about this arp but for now let's leave it in and let's go and search for something new. Let's go for, for a drum. There's a lot of, not a lot, but a few drum uh, presets on this pack, including kick drums that are really nice sounding. So let's go for maybe a low tom. Let's see how, how our low toms sound like. Let's listen to some of the drums. Okay, this low tom is using the self res uh, self oscillating filter uh, technique, and um, still you can play it using the keys because it's trying to key track via the keyboard. And I made it tuned so it at least two octaves you can you can match your notes to the track notes using just the MIDI keys. So let's go for that's LT zero eight. <laughs> 